Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So, in today's video, we are going to learn numericals on page replacement algorithms. Okay, now these are 10 mark questions that come in the exam. I call them lollipops. They are jackpot questions. You are going to get 10 out of 10 hands down. Okay, uh, I always prefer numericals uh, in COA subject and in microprocessor subject. I always tell students focus on programming, focus on designing because these are questions that give full marks. These are theory subjects. Other questions are theory answers. In theory answers, even if you write your heart out, examiners refrain from giving a 10 out of 10 because there is always a possibility of an examiner expecting something more from the answer. But here, it's a question, it's a numerical, solve it correct with a perfect final answer, you are bound to get 10 out of 10. And the good thing about these questions is they get solved in minutes. Even this video, I am solving 4 sums in this video. One will come in the exam or maybe at the most two will come. But I am solving 4 sums and still the video will be a very small video. So that will give you an idea how fast these can be done. And that too I am explaining it to you, so that's why it might just take a little more time. Now, what is the question? Uh, you know there is something called paging, you know there is something called page replacement. I have done a full theory video on it. So pages from virtual memory are brought into main memory. Of course the number of pages that are there in virtual memory is much more than what can be stored in the main memory. So once the main memory is full, an old page from the main memory has to be replaced by a new page from the virtual memory. When pages have to be replaced, algorithms are followed. There is FIFO which simply says the page that came in first should go out first. There is LRU, least recently used, which says the pages which are used more recently should stay. The pages that have not been used for the longest time should be replaced. LFU, the page that has been used the least number of times should be replaced. Optimal, it looks in the future. The fourth method, it looks in the future. And which pages you may require in the future, they will be retained. The ones that are not required will be replaced. So that's the gist of these algorithms. I am going to solve numericals on them. The question is a typical exam question. Take the last 10 papers, you will find this question. Find this question about 2, 3, maybe 4 times. So it's pretty likely to come. Uh, every paper cannot be the same. But if it comes, like I said, it's a 10 mark on the spot you get 10 out of 10. You know that while solving the question that you got full marks. Anyway, so the question goes like this. The main memory has X number of frames. The virtual memory has X number of pages. This may be given indirectly, okay, by giving the size of the memory and the size of the frame, which means you have to figure out the number of frames and the number of pages. So it may either be given directly or indirectly. Now, once you've given, you've been given that, they will tell you the sequence in which pages are required. Here the sequence is 2, 3, 2, 1, 5, 2, 4, 5, 3, 2, 5, 2. This is exactly the numbers asked in some exam questions. So I have taken an exam question, not a hypothetical question. Anyway, so pages are required in this order. Solve replacement using all the algorithms and determine which is the best or which gives you the highest hit ratio. Please keep one thing in mind. Don't have a preconceived notion that so and so algorithm will be the best. There is nothing of that sort. Depending upon the sequence in which the pages are required, sometimes LRU may give you the best hit ratio, sometimes anything, any of them can end up being optimal uh, because of its approach that it looks in the future would want to give you the best hit ratio most of the times but again there is no such rule it all depends upon which upon the sequence in which pages are being accessed so don't go with a preconceived notion that one of them should be giving you the best it all depends upon the question okay now we are about to start this was an introduction you know what i've been doing you want to watch the whole video please come to my website it's called www dot bharat acharya education dot com the same name as the name of this channel i'll give you the link below click on the link register yourself as a user all these videos are there in the coa channel so subscribe to that channel of course there is a fee to it this is professional service so there is a fee to it but i've kept the fee very low something that anybody can afford anyway make the subscription it doesn't take hours it doesn't even take minutes it's a matter of seconds you make the subscription before you realize your subscription is instantly active you land back into the page with all the videos now accessible to you you can access the videos for the next six months watch them again and again get as much knowledge as you want also with every video there is a view pdf button when you hit that you get a pdf of my book chapter wise topic wise so whichever topic you're watching you'll get the pdf for that if you're watching this topic you'll get additional sums in the pdf okay this is the one that i'm solving you'll get additional sums in the pdf to solve by yourself so that you know you can practice more anyway hope to see you there wish you all the best do well